Hello, my delicious co-creators. Lilu here in beautiful Paris. I'm with, I have the honor actually to just, I've done just an interview right now with Nicole that is from Quebec. Yes. That is, uh, I mean, you wrote so many books, you're a speaker and uh, you, you practice yoga and you travel all the time in the world and you're here in Paris. And it's a fabulous, I have not been here for 20 years and it's a fabulous time to be in Paris right now. There's such a beautiful energy. So I'm, I'm very happy to be here with you and we did this incredible interview in French and now we have this chance to speak in English for our friends so I'm happy yeah because I mean your book is not in English yet but it's it's kind of like the art of reinventing yourself it's right. called and uh, I, I find that you know great to say to people just every day recreate who you are because and choose yourself choose yourself and when we we think about re re recreating oneself we always think okay I'm going to change my haircut I will do another type of makeup uh, I'm going to move I'm going to change the way I dress. It's not about that yeah. because that will change and that will pass. It's really about reinventing who you are from the inside. Mm. And when you do that, it's, it's about going into the inside and asking, okay, do I still think this way about life? It's about questioning what you think. It's about also trying to understand who you are without judging mm you know, how you act and how you think, really falling um, into a beautiful friendship with yourself, happen to discover yourself again. Yeah, because uh, we, we spoke about the fact that a lot of, of us have the, the, the fear of being abandoned, and yes. uh, so loving ourselves is, is, is hugely important. <laughs> yeah. It is, and you talk about fear, and it's it's something that is within us. And sometimes people won't talk about their fear because they're going to think, okay, I'm a really stressed person, I'm anxious, I have a lot of fear. Humans being have a lot of fear. We all have different type of fear. And the amazing thing with fear is that fear tells you that it will protect you. Mm -hmm. If you have, if you fear um, a failure, if just keep on, you know, uh, being scared of failure, you will not fail. Uh, uh, if you are afraid of being sick, just, you know, think about sickness and stay away from it and you won't get sick. And that's the biggest lie. Fear cannot protect you from anything. Fear of sickness is not going to protect you from sickness. Fear of rejection is not going to protect you from rejection. The only thing that fear can do in your life is make it very small. And it's really every day take your power away from you. So it question your fear. Go into the mirror. And it's going to be very uncomfortable. And look at yourself and say, okay, what is your biggest fear in this life at this moment? What is your biggest fear? And then question it. Is it realistic? Is it real? Is it real? Is it real? Is it true? You know, and and that that um, questioning will dismantle the fear. Eventually, it will dismantle it. It's not going to leave. It's going to stay next to you. But you're going to be able to say, "Ah, oh, there's my fear. There's my good old fear." And and you, you're going to be able to recreate yourself with or without the fear. Yeah. There is this 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 quote at the beginning of the book on uh, with from Confucius, but it's like uh, you know the, your your second life. There's two lives basically, and uh, once you choose, once you understand that there is only one, then then things start because this is it, right? This is it. This is it. And people talk about time. I don't have time for this. I'm losing my time. I'm wasting my time. It took me a lot of time. Change the word time for life. Mm. I don't have time. I don't have life. And I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my life. Time is not a calendar. I got yeah, it's not an agenda. It actually comes from a French author in um, Jean Louis Schreber that that says, "Just do this exercise. Every time you use the word time, change it for life, because time is not a calendar. It's not a date, you know, on an agenda. It's your life. Mm. It's your life. And every day, you have 24 new hours." Mm in front of you, but every night, no matter if you're vegan, if you do yoga every day, if you meditate 24 hours a day, every night when you go to bed, your life will be shorter than 24 hours. Mm. You know, so it, time is so, it's the most beautiful gift we have. Yeah. What time do you wake up? Like, because I just done this interview in French with about this woman that starts an hour earlier to have more time. I know in the US it's something big, like people wake up really early, maybe in Quebec as well. How do you, is, is this part of reinventing ourselves, like changing our habits time with, with the time? 
It could be. It, I don't like to impose things on people and say, this is my recipe and this is how it works because you meet the person five years later, oh, I don't do that anymore, you know, I was talking about. No, I. for me, it's really about listening to yourself, listen to your body. Some people, by getting, er, getting up earlier, can have a lot of things done. Other people, you have them get up at five o'clock in the morning and at four, they're ready to kill everybody because they're like out of their skin. So, so I say, listen to your body, listen to yourself, and also question your motivation. Why do you do certain things? Is it necessary? Is it adding to your peace of mind? Yeah. Peace of mind is a really beautiful thing to yeah. to to seek. Yeah. In, 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 as part of reinventing, it's also part of uh, healing, I guess. Healing different aspects, the soul, the heart, spirit. Healing and forgiving. Mm. Letting go of the past. The past cannot be repaired. It's a, it's a really sad news, but no matter what you do, you can ask why, why, why did this person, you know, did this to me? Why this happened? Why will never have an answer that will, you know, be enough for you? So it happened. It cannot be repaired. See if you can make peace with it. It can be a long, long, you know, a long type of work that you have to do within yourself. But forgiveness is an incredible way to reinventing yourself, to let go of the past, to free yourself. That doesn't mean you excuse the person. That doesn't mean the person comes back into your life, but you free yourself. And forgiveness is a, an incredible form of healing yeah. for the body, for the heart, for the soul. It makes you free and light, and it brings joy into your life. Mm. I found out that the the forgiveness can only be true or deep enough when it's, it goes to the soul level, like understanding really on a soul level why this happened. Otherwise, it's kind of still a bit superficial, no? I think I think this this is a really good point because we can say, oh, I forgive this person, you know, it's done, and then five years later you see the person crossing the street with a with a new love, laughing their their heart out, and you're like, oh my god, and you realize that. The forgiveness has not touched your soul. And one way that I find that has really helped me is to see what has this person um, uh, has chosen to teach me in my life. What, it's a teacher for me. What is this situation teaching me right now? How can I use this to have a better understanding of, you know, where where are my fears? Where are, you know, um, my... Self-acceptance. Exactly. Yes, self-acceptance. <laughs> exactly. And sometimes people will come into your life exactly to show you where you, you, you're you losing your strength. They will show you by creating situation with you. And if you can go deeper to the soul and you realize that your soul has already accepted that. Mm. It has already welcomed that person into your life and welcomed that lesson for you. That's a big one. It, mm. A lot of fear leave when you realize that your soul has already said yes to your past, said yes to this moment, and said yes to everything that is to come. Mm. Everything. Everything that will be on your path. The blessing, like the really difficult times, your soul has already agreed to all of that. Mm. And, and sometimes we say, oh, no, that, please, that couldn't. But when you really go deeper inside, you will find that there's a certain type of peace. And that's the peace of your soul that says it's part of your path. Mm. Any other little thing to add to this conversation to talk about reinventing, transforming? Gratitude. Yeah. Gratitude. Gratitude is such a fabulous, yeah. underrated thing. Gratitude. Life doesn't owe you nothing. Yeah. Nothing. This breath is an incredible gift. This meeting mm. is a fabulous, fabulous yeah. gift. To be here, to be alive, to be, to be breathing, to be uh, everything. Gratitude will change your attitude. Yeah, even for what's not. Even for what's not. Absolutely, because I sometimes to pray for something. Mm. You pray for something. You want this relationship. You want this job. You want this contract. And then you don't get it, and you're like, why, why? And then down the road, you meet the person five years later, ten years later, the person that got the project had a burnout, or the, the, the relationship that you prayed for, you see the person, how it ages, you know, ten years ago, ten years from now, and you're like, 
oh my God, was this a blessing or what? Mm -hmm. So sometimes have gratitude for what's not coming your way. It might be a good news mm -hmm. in disguise. Beautiful. Well, let's reinvent ourselves. Thank you so much. Thank you to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you to you, beautiful, delicious co-creators. My God, you're so loved. Can you believe that? I do. Uh, well, blessings from Paris. Bonjour. Bonjour. À bientôt. Gros, gros bisous. Bye-bye. <laughs>